The Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi is visiting Botswana before heading to Tanzania later today. Wang Yi's Botswana trip is in line with a decades-long diplomatic tradition. Since 1991, Chinese foreign ministers have visited Africa as their first overseas trip of the year. Mpoeng Poeng, an economist and trade and investment analyst based in Kaborone, brings us more on what this visit means for Botswana. When you consider that Botswana and China um, have had a relationship for 46 years now. Actually, today is the, is the anniversary of when the relations between Botswana and China started 46 years ago in 1975. Um, it, it's a really important visit for Botswana because as it is, Botswana, um, the China actually has an embassy in our capital, which is Kaborone, and we also have an embassy in Beijing. The two countries over the years have signed many bilateral agreements of understanding and, and even memoranda of understanding covering things as vast as social, economic, technical and technological cooperation, um, even human resource development. Um, it's also very important because, you know, in the year 2000, when um, China started the forum on China and Africa cooperation, Botswana was there. Um, and has attended all seven conferences, um, and, a, and a large part of um, our relations are governed are governed by that. We've had about forty different um, China aid projects that cover infrastructure development, agriculture, education since since that time. Um, actually, you know, to show the the fact that the relationship is bilateral, um, Botswana itself donated a hundred thousand US dollars um, to China. Um, in 2008, um, after the Sichuan um, earthquake. Since 2018, we've had, um, as I said, the, the president of Botswana was in Beijing and he appealed for more relations between Botswana and China. And we've seen a lot of that um, bear fruit in the, in, the, in the past two years. Um, speaking of COVID, we, you know, as soon as, you know, the first um, sets of test kits and PPEs that Botswana had, were, were, were donated um, from were donated from China, and we've been seeing that happen. We've also seen um, uh, we've seen medical personnel that came in um, to come and um, assist in Botswana's efforts um, against uh, COVID, who are coming in from China. Now, what we've what we've also seen though, which has been interesting, is we've also seen outside of the COVID relief. We've seen um, a lot more um, aid money come to Botswana. Um, just in the December, um, the embassy of China um, was, um, was, 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 was launching um, some light, street lighting, which they had donated to a village um, in Botswana. And we've seen two primary schools as well being built um, in, in Botswana in the past few years. Um, so it, the, the so the visit is definitely very significant um, as the two countries um, find their way to grow um, their relationship since there are so many opportunities um, and ways that um, the two countries can work together.